Oh, hello guys, it's Futon here, and today we're going to be showing you a video on how to brute force shattered worlds. Note, this method technically requires little to no gear, and the only thing it majorly requires is cinderbane gloves, and a uh, weapon poison, and a cannon, and salve. The rest of these items are just here to use to speed it up if we so choose, and also you do require a shield. I went ahead and used a strike bow just so I can keep with two-handed bows. Um, just a little bit closer look on my preset. Oh, uh, fuck. Okay, now we got that bang thing taken away. I need to remind myself to not kind of go through that. Um, basically, we're just taking a yak because this method could take up to three hours. Potentially, I might I end up using none of these supplies depending on what boosts I get inside. If I get zone of, um, I think it's zone of re restoration, then I don't need any restorers or I don't need anything you see here besides maybe a few uh, serotonin improves for the skip part. Um, the, if you have Epic, you don't need Excalibur, so it really depends on what you get. Um, the first worlds are always set to be the same on the climb, so, yeah. So it really depends on what you get and what's R for the start, and then RNGs afterwards to what you'll take. So, I'm about ready to do a 145 to 150 climb, and we'll go ahead and take a look what I have, and then you can see kind of where I see what we need and what we don't need. So be right back as I run over the Shattered Worlds. Okay, now that we're here at Shattered Worlds, you'll notice that for the start here, I do not have the epic ability I thought I did because of the icon. Either way, these icons share a lot. So what we're gonna wanna do just to make this a little bit safer is barricade is what the key to the strategy really comes down to. You wanna have a shield that you can put up the most time on barricade. So in this case, we're gonna be using a combat dummy to pre-build a drin. Or I'm actually going to test building it inside because, yeah, I never did. So, this is some new stuff that I'm going for. Charged. Hopefully I can drop a dummy. Yep, drop a dummy here. So, the point of this is, so we build up for barricade. Nothing can hit you behind here. You, this is actually a virtual safe spot. But as you see... There are tons of enemies here that you have to lower down, as of course this is really no beginner stuff for a shadow roll, it's just a brute forcing the world 200. So once we hit 100%, we're going to go ahead and with the strike bow, we're going to drink an overload, we're going to drink a weapon poison. And now that we're at 100%, we're going to save surge, a drain stall, and we're going to take care of these guys over here first. So don't even worry about praying, let's get close, barricade down, drop the cannon, drop the cannon and get out right now. Now, oh yeah, drop, drop the cannon and click on the cannon to use the cannon. I might drop from that. Thank you. Now you want to try to get as far away as you can as you notice. That's the reason why you want to keep a barricade, is so that you can grab the, um, just do a green score. Anyway, um, so you can go ahead and hit these. No, because you're wearing cinder veins of weapon poison, the weapon poison also extends to them, so you're actually hitting them for rapid poison damage. And as I know, you want to try to build up more and more here. So use the zone of restoration for the last one. So to build up, heal up with the scalibur. And as, as long as the cannon is firing, you will be kept in combat. But this is the gist of the strat. It's just to keep in, build up to 100%, etc. And keep going. Alright, so that you can move the cannon when you need to move the cannon. Either what? That should be enough to take these guys out. I'm going to... Either way. So it's nothing but more than a waiting game. So you just sit here and wait for the cannon to do all the work. Oops, I'm a little too close. Either way, that's pretty much the gist of Shattered Worlds. And you just literally, when the cannon clears it, everything out or whittles it down, you just hit the next, pick up the cannon, keep the 100% of drain, and move it. Keep the 100% and move it. This process is actually very slow, but at least it's AFK ish. It guarantees the fact that you're able to continuously proceed in worlds. And really, to be honest with you, you could probably push us to world 400 
with enough cannonballs, probably, with just this method, as long as you're just willing to sit through. And as you see, stuff is starting to get weakened down, so I will start going and picking them off with my prayer. And I know these accuracies here are crazy. Like, I mean, they are nutty. Okay, so the warrior, pick him off. Alright. So now that the cannon is out of targets, we pick it up. Barricade. Drop the cannon. Load up the coil. And, yeah. In this case, we're just picking up these charges. Yep. And then we can just pick off the stuff and load up to 100% again. And that's really all there is to it. It really isn't nothing that difficult. You slowly move the cannon forward and just use the cannon to clean out most of the mobs. And the reason why you want an ODAC coil is because it uses up the least amount of cannonballs per fire. And yeah, that just helps out a crap ton. Alright. Okay, cool. And just sit here and wait until you get to the next world. And pretty much you just push and push and push like this. It, Yeah, that's really all there is to it. So I will be back. I think this is actually going to be it. But we will be back at the end of the five worlds here. And you'll see kind of where I'm going with supplies and how much I actually use. So, um, yeah, I will. This is going to take a while. So be back at the house. You probably put clips in. So, yeah. Well, RNG has blessed us with the power of Epic. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. Okay, so we need to get into combat. And there we go. All right, now this is where you're going to learn some new strategies here. First off, we're going to be doing this. Placing the cannon here, of course. Getting out of dodge before this gets into the power. Now with this, keep just heal up. With this, if your epic is up, oh, I don't know. Considering we have the power of terror here. Oh, where is this ability? Let's just go to my defensive book. Oh, we got rejuvenate. Hi. And while the cannon is targeting the NPCs, it still counts. So, now here comes the true power. Once this rejuvenate finishes, we are going to abuse the unholy decimation bow and fire and get out basically what that does is one it allows me to turn any of my abilities into an AoE from there I use incendiary shot so an AoE is an AoE um yeah it it clocked a few things um yeah but we still have to pick off these little buggers so but anyway, that's one of the strats there for this. If you have Epic, you're basically sitting in infinite adrenaline 90% of the time. And then if you're getting hit by stuff as well, you can get a, you get a little active reset and get free heals off of that as well. So if you always take Epic over anything else here because of the strats, but if you don't, then you would see what I used on the previous world to slowly climb my rear up. And as you see, the other world took me about 27 minutes. So that's the reason why we have about two hours worth of supplies, a little bit over. I probably should have brought some more overloads than what I did bring. But, but since I do have Epic, this is just going to go pretty quickly. Also, as a note, I just saw notice this when I'm AFK. You might want to take your armor off because it, it degrades as long as it's in combat stands. And you're basically just wanting to stay in here with Barricade anyway and move it. Um, if you do needing in a defensive reset, then sure, use it. But if you don't need a defensive reset, just turn it off. Don't even worry about it. So, yeah, I'm. this is kind of cheesing, but yeah, this is hilarious. Ugh. Just another uh, tip here. Fair warning, if you die, do not bother proceeding to do Shattered Worlds or go back inside. 
go back to Edgeville and go to the Dwarven area and reclaim your cannon because you cannot place the cannon again until you go back there and reclaim it. I don't know why they changed this or made this even more fun, you know, but that's just how it is. So just a fair warning, if you do die and not pay attention like I did, I was looking at my LP and um, the cannon wouldn't go down, so I waited too long on the barricade and got killed instantly. Fun. Whatever. Um, so I'm going back in. It's going to take me another two hours. Yay, yay, yay. Either way. Uh, this place is extremely frustrating, so good luck for anyone pushing. This is not fun, regardless of how you look at it. So hopefully I get done with this, at least get the 150 grind. But I think this is going to be the end of the tidbits for this. Um, just make sure that you're very careful, very paying attention. Even though you can't AFK it, make sure that you're at full health, etc. before you even go to move the cannon forward. Because if you don't pay attention, you are going to die. You are not, you're not going to like it at all. And by the way, this drains the living hell out of your charge packs. I realize that now. Oh well, <laughs> but it is what it is on that. So um, just as a note, just be careful with this. If you do die again, go get your cannon back from Edgeville. You cannot place a cannon until you go and, yeah, it will not let you place a second cannon. Even though the cannon is technically destroyed, and I don't know when they change the invention cannon to even allow you to do that. Either way, just a little bit of a heads up on that. And I got the worst pattern possible. Yay. Oh, yeah, there's not enough place to set up a cannon either. Well, hopefully there's enough place to set up a combat dummy. Either way, I'm getting started back on this. So, good luck to everyone on the climbs. And sorry for stagnating this. This is just a horrible... At least this is bearable to the point I could get drunk and just watch some Netflix because... That's what it's going to take because it's going to be probably 20 to 30 hours to get to the last 55 worlds. <sighs> Let's go and get drunk, guys. And, uh, yeah. Have a good one, and, uh, thank you guys for watching.